Hey everyone, welcome to plot one. I know it's been about three or four months since I last posted a video, but I've been busy doing my uh, background filming, extras, whatever you want to call it. I've also been busy on the plot. I haven't videoed everything I've harvested, but uh, I'll try and give you a flavor as I'm talking now. I've had a very good crop of first early, second earlies, and main crop potatoes. They were delicious. Leeks were successful. So were onions and shallots. Bolotti beans have grown well. They did well up that climbing frame. Um, Scarlet Emperor runner beans and the, the beans are delicious. Uh, apples, a few apples, a few pears. Not brilliant, but we'll see how it goes for next year. And uh, it's not been too bad considering the plot's in complete shade a lot of the time. So <laughs> uh, it's an interesting plot and I'm gonna keep it. Anyway, back to what we're, what we're doing here today. I'm gonna show you what I've been doing and uh, I've been clearing this bank further up the plot to make way for a pathway and to increase the area for growing. Again, full of rubble, bricks, uh, plastic, carpet, you name it. I've dug it out of this plot section here, this, uh, this bank section. So anyway, I'll turn you around and I'll show you what I'm doing. My job for this autumn, I've got two main jobs, is to clear the bottom of this back end of the plot on the side of the bank and create a hugel culture raised bed. I've already made a start here, moved the pallets that were here and I'm going to work my way that way trying to clear bramble roots and reveal all the rubble that's down there from last autumn and then we're going to make a retaining wall at the bottom of the bank. So this bramble has grown through the pile of rubble over the summer. I've got to get down to the bottom of all of that somehow. Uh, reveal that pile of rubble there and start making some kind of retaining wall. Several days later, I know it might not look like it, but I've actually cleared the whole of that bank of rubble and bramble roots that grew up through the summer. I've stacked up all the concrete bits down here. This is not where the final retaining wall is going to go. It's going to go further in towards that bank. And I've cleared away right down here. So here we are from the opposite end. We've got the pathway here leading from the entrance up the side of this bank. And where that silver pole is there, right in the centre, is where the retaining wall is going to come out to the right slightly. Some of these bits of concrete are quite big and heavy. They will form the kind of corner foundation stone further down here. That's the existing pathway and the retaining wall is going to come out from here and come along here somewhere. So I've just started the foundation and I've just remembered something about dry stone walling. You see, I've started this first corner off with the pieces of concrete going lengthways. That's the wrong way to go about it, apparently. Although this is only the first layer. Where I've placed that other one there, that's going lengthways from front to back, which is how you should lay dry stone paving, um, dry stone walling. I want to lay some of these slabs lengthways from front to back like that one so that it keys in the wall and stops it from toppling over onto the pathway. Well here we are a few days later. The retaining wall the dry stone walls coming along. I've used quite a bit of the uh, rubble and concrete bits, as you can see. There's plenty of places for insects to uh, find homes in there. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's not too bad. Here we are coming at it from the bottom just down from that tree and if you remember that tree is where I had the bird box 
and uh, I built in a little seat as well. Nice place to sit there. As you can see from the back of the seating area, I've got quite a solid substantial block of slabs behind that. So I'm hoping that that will hold this corner up. So I've just dug a massive lump of carpet out of that hole there. It's right in the pathway of the dry stone wall coming through from that side. That's the lump of carpet. Anyway, onwards and upwards. I spent the whole of this morning four hours digging. Dug that great big lump of carpet out of the soil there. And then I'm preparing a pit now for a fig tree. I've come to a natural stop in the line there with that tree trunk that's buried in the soil under this slope, which I'm not going to try to remove. I don't want a landslide. So that's where I'm going to put my hole for the fig tree. So that's most of the rubble cleared. And that's the dry stone retaining wall there that I've used the good stuff for. The rest of the pile of rubble is up here. Can you believe it? It's still got a mountain of that. And what I'm going to do is probably uh, use some of this for making a high vernaculum. So you see in front of me, there's a large mound that's got to come out to kind of level the pathway a bit later on. And further down the pathway, there's a smaller mound on the corner there that's got to come out. But uh, I've got lots of little interesting nooks and crannies in the wall there for insects and lone bees to go in and explore. So behind there, I'm going to bury some logs and rotting wood, and then I'm going to cover it with soil. That's about two foot deep there. So I've tried to key in a lot of these flat pieces of concrete going back as far as I can go, so that it creates a solid wall. Here we come around to the seat that I've created. I've tried to make it level, although I haven't used a spirit level. I've just gone by my, I know it's not quite level, but uh, it seems to be fairly stable on this corner, which is what I wanted. So here's the pathway that I've now created. Up here, I've widened the allotment plot. That's about a metre wide, that pathway there. But it has given a lot more width to the plot, which will continue. There's a mound I've got to excavate there and it will continue right up to the back. Overall, I'm quite pleased with how that wall has turned out. So it's given a lot more width to the plot. Anyway, guys, hope you've enjoyed that little uh, catch up. Thanks very much for sticking with me and uh, see you again soon for the next update. Let's get this path sorted out.